Hello, my name is Ronan Fisher Janassi, and this is GNC. Welcome to Late Night Insight with Ronan Janassi. Today, we're going to be covering the severe water scarcity in South Aquilus. Recently, there was a beer factory founded there, which has used up their main source of water. Later on in the show, we're going to have the CEO of the factory and some residents of South Aquilus on here to voice their opinion. But first, let's head over to the field with Riona Kochi. Thank you, Ronan. As you can see, this is an engine company in South Aquilus and there are a lot of products to here right now. This company controls the electricity, gas, and water supplies to houses. The company decided to produce a beer named Cerveza Beer, which is uses a lot of water to create. Presently, some alcoholics has the issue with lack of water, and it is one of the biggest problems. People here are complaining about these situations. If they don't work on beer production, it will cause more lack of water in some alcoholics. But if they don't work on beer production, it will, the cost of lights will be expensive, and they are also complaining about not having enough access to water. If people don't have access to water, or if the company gives them ugly water, there will be a big effect on their body health and daily lives. It can cause diseases or sickness and people cannot use electricity, gas, and water for them to live. If this situation continues, then it will be more big problems and more complaints from citizens. That's all from now from the here. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Late Night Insight with Ronan Johnsey. Today we have the CEO of Cerveza Beer and the leader of South Oculus on my right and a resident of South Oculus and a government representative of agriculture and security on my left. Dear leader of South Oculus, do you think that you and this community will be able to make it through this severe lack of water? I do not think that we will be able to make it to be able to make it through this. Water is a basic human resource and basic human resource and right. This government approved project is taking that away from us. Our main source of water is where that beer factory is being built. And we have tried and searched for more places, but they have not been as fruitful as the other sources. So no, I do not think that we'll be able to make it through this crisis. Mr. CEO, can you balance out the amount of water that your company will use and the amount that will be used for the people of South Aquilus? So we sustain the level of water that we take and use so that the main water source from the South Aquilus community does not run out of water. We also have provided op an option for the South Aquilus community to be able to have more access to more water and to live a better and comfortable life. For example, by providing jobs that are beer company to earn money. Masihiro, what is the current status of water in your community? So in South Aquilus, due to the fact that there are no purification facilities, um, our water uh, is very dirty and we don't have a lot of water to drink or to use for other things like toilets or cooking. And also we take multiple hours just to get them. And the only amount that we get is one to two liters per day, which is not even enough for us. And some people in the community are actually going to thirst strikes and some of my family members have passed away from them. But still, to no avail, the South Aquilus community has not given us the water that is so rightfully deserved. Mr. CEO, can you promise these citizens that they will survive, have lots of water, and be able to live a comfortable life? The amount of water will depend on how much beer is going to be created. And in the first month, if we create a certain amount of beer, then we sell all of them within the month, we are going to increase the amount of water we are going to use and if all of the beer doesn't sell we will reduce the amount of water usage and currently 12.8 percent of the water that we use comes out clean for drinking water masahiro how much water do you currently use so in south aquilus uh it depends on where you kind of are but in rural areas you only get one liters of water per day and in urban areas you get two liters and so before the factory was being built, uh, we were able to get it 10 minutes away from us. But then after the factory being built, it, it's taking us three hours to get there. And we only get one to two liters per day. We need water. We actually need 150 liters of water per day for drinking, bathing, cooking, and toilets. But 
there are no water for us. Even if we tried to work at the beer company of Cerveza Beer, they only pay us 25 sags per hour, which is equivalent to one dollar. And even though they make us work 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., we only get 12 dollars, which is 300 sags, and we don't have the money to buy actual purified water because our basic human needs are more important than us. Mr. CEO, how much water are you allowed to take from South Oculus? The amount of water will depend on how much beer is going to be created. And in the first month, if we create a certain amount of beer, then we sell all of them within the month. We are going to increase the amount of water we are going to use. And if all of the beer doesn't sell, we will reduce the amount of water usage. And currently, 12.8% of the water that we use comes out clean for drinking water. Mr. CEO, is it even legal to take the water of South Oculus? So as I said before, we sustain the level of water that we take and use, and we have provided many options for the South Oculus community to be able to have access to more water and to live a better and comfortable life. We have asked the Oculus government if we could buy the land, and they have agreed. Masahiro, what actions do you have to take to be able to get clean water? So in South Aquila's community, uh, some of us are actually doing protests, such as, as I said before, like thirst strikes and other forms of protest that are nonviolence. And so after these many years of us protesting, still the community hasn't given us more water, it, but in fact they gave us less. So what they're doing right now is if we don't join their company, they'll double the price of gas and electricity bills, which is a very big problem to us. And the human rights are just going down for us because we're not able to get the water that we need due to the fact that they're not giving us a lot of salaries, $12 for 12 hours. Do you know how much that is? And so we don't even have the cost of living to buy our basic needs such as food, water, shelter. Mr. CEO, how much water are you willing to give the citizens? We are going to provide the opportunity for the South Aquas community to get a, a job at our beer factory so that they can use the money that they have earned to buy water. Our company does not use all of the water, so there will be plenty of water for the South Aquas community to get. Follow up. So are you willing to give clean water? So we are willing to give the citizens the amount of water they need to live comfortably and of course we are going to give the citizens purified water since it's very crucial for survival. With this we have also lowered the price of water for them if they work out of factory so we are providing jobs and sustenance for all the people of South Aquas. Dear leader of South Aquas, how do you feel that the people of South Aquas have to work at the beer factory or else their expenses are too high? I feel that the beer company is using us for more money because, as they said before, they want us to get jobs at the beer factory to earn and pay for the water so they can sell more beer and make more money for the profits for the company. Masahiro, is the water that you use clean? So, uh, as I said before, uh, there are no purification facilities in South Aquilis, so the water that we drink or use is very dirty and has a lot of chemicals in it. And uh, in Africa as well, there are a lot of people with diseases such as trachoma, uh, malaria, and schistosomiosis. And in South Aquilis, uh, half a year ago, uh, we saw some cases of trachoma and malaria. And from then, it has almost quadrupled in the past six months and some people are actually passing away from them. And so our water is very dirty. Kiel, the people are mad that the beer factory was a government approved project. What can you say about this? We try to sustain the needs of our community as best as we can by lowering the price of the groceries to um, reduce poverty and offering money to the people who help look for water for this community. But when the Cerveza Beer Company applied to build a company here, they signed a contract with a promise to um, 
support the community by providing the necessary jobs for the citizens. There are now a lot of job offers from the company, and we knew it would be great for the citizens to be able to get a job easily at the service of their company. Mr. CEO, the fact is, is that it's very clear that the community of South Oculus is suffering from severe water scarcity. Is there anything that you can do about this? We have a couple of very well planned out solutions that, have, that we have been considering for quite a while. One of them is building a water purification system because all beer factories require water and sometimes we have some excess water which can be used to provide water for the South Aquas. Raising the amount of water you get for the price or lowering the price of the water for the same amount of water you get now. Creating a dam or an aqueduct, we are thinking of creating a land well for the South Aquas community to use for a small price. This solution will make the life of the entire community of South Aquas easier and make more water accessible for them. I believe that this solution will make everyone happy.